Hello my lovelies! Today I'm here with what's in my travel bag video, one of those travel series. I just thought I'd keep them going since I came back from Croatia yesterday. So I've got a tan, this is not a overly done bronzer or anything like that, I promise. I was in the sun for like four days and because I've still got my bag here fully packed, I decided why not show you what I actually had in it. So it's my... A Celine mini luggage tote bag that I love for traveling. Well, the only problem with it is that I can't actually put it on my shoulder so when it gets heavy it's really heavy and when I'm traveling you know it's always the heavy stuff because being a fashion blogger I always have to carry my camera which is pretty that big and I don't normally put this in my bag because first it doesn't fit in most of my bags and, and second because I usually just keep it on my shoulder so that's not gonna be in my bag but yeah I have to carry this and then a full bag of stuff so um, you know I try not to have loads of stuff but you know you have to have what you have to have so um, when it comes to luggage totes in general I know that a lot of people say they lose shapes they are not practical they're too big you can fill them up with too much stuff which in a way it's true in a way it's not true so yes they are too big you can put loads of stuff in them which is also good especially if you're traveling with a car so you put all of that stuff in and you don't really have to carry it around uh, with shape yeah I've seen that people's bags lose shape with mine I'm really happy I think it's a bit misleading because if you look at it this is what it looks like I don't think it's lost any shape but if I let, let it stand obviously it's not gonna stand perfect it's gonna kind of look like it's lost shape so I guess sometimes it can just look like a lost shape but not really you know so I'm gonna get into what's in here straight away thing number one and the biggest thing I've got here is my uh, MacBook Air this is this is the smallest one, 11 inch one. It's what I carry with me when I'm traveling, uh, just because it's so light and because I travel a lot, so I need to I need to have it for my blog posts and all the other stuff for emails and just working on the go. It's perfect because on the plane I can open it, draft some emails, I don't know, like look at the stuff that I've got, transfer pictures and all the other stuff. And on some planes you have Wi-Fi as well, so it's perfect for working on the go. That is always, always in my hand luggage. Obviously, I would never put it in my suitcase, and I mean, it's just perfect size. Thing number two I've got is this handbag butler. I think you guys might have seen this in one of my posts or videos. I absolutely love this thing. I don't go anywhere without it. It's a little pouch with a battery charging thing inside. Why I love it so much is that you don't need so many different cables for it to charge and whatnot. You just plug it in where you plug in your iPhone in and also this is where you charge your phone. I can also charge my Blackberry with this. I've just got an iPhone um, adapter for it. Then I've got a book. At the minute I'm reading Paolo Coelho. Uh, well, this is in Serbian but I think the title would be something like The Winner Is Alone. I love this book. I've almost uh, read it. I was reading it by the pool, in the pool, and so on, which is why it looks so scruffy now. Look. <laughs> I mean, when on holiday, my favorite activity is just to kind of get in the pool, you know, like rest, like rest your back and read a book, or like rest your front and just like read a book and tan in the pool. It's just so amazing. I got almost to the end. There's like 300 pages, and I'm at. 215 it's really amazing I love Koyo's books so um, this one is just you know one of them that I knew I had to read and I think it's gonna be in my monthly favorites and I've got a little um, Smithson notebook I usually carry either this one or a bigger one but this time I had a little one with me this one says make it happen and inside I just write like little to-do lists or little ideas that I get on the go I just often get ideas like what would I like to blog about what, what I need to shoot what I need to like email addresses contacts and things like that that I need so I make sure to write in here I also have always with it a Swarovski pen but I kind of like put it somewhere so I don't know where it is now so that's that's with me on the go of course my passport I mean you need your passport unless you're going within the country but I pretty much always carry my passport with me why it's because sometimes for example blogging trips they can happen really unexpectedly so you can get like an email that you need to go somewhere like three days or four days ahead of the trip and if you're already abroad you do need your passport unless you want to make like 
too many flights. Um, then I've got my earphones and this is something that is absolutely essential for when traveling on the plane. Besides looking, I can't hear a thing now. I look a bit silly with them, I know, but nothing can replace these. I literally cannot hear what I'm saying right now. They are noise cancelling, so if you're on the plane and it's really loud, then you try to listen to music, it's just kind of like, oh, I can't hear a thing because it's like and all of those funny noises. This cancels the noise, you can sleep, you can listen to music, you can watch movies, and you feel like you're literally alone. It's perfect, you arrive wherever you arrive, really rested, and they're comfortable. You, you know how like those that you put in your ears, they can kind of hurt? These are comfortable, I really like them, they're pink, and yeah, I never thought I would need these. These are Beats by Dr. Dre, so they are my favorite earphones, and I really, really love them, and they're pink. I think I said that, <laughs> but yeah. Of course my phone, I've got my phone with me. I mean, you have to have your phone. I mean, especially obviously since I got the charger for my phone, of course I would have it. It's in this like rubber uh, little case that is like a Chanel boy. That my phone is essential, especially when traveling and stuff like that. Uh, as you guys know, I use the Glam and Glitter Travels hashtag. So you can click on the hashtag to see all of my travels, some of my most recent ones, and I don't know, that was Dubrovnik, Barcelona, and so on and so on. Um, so yeah, of course, phone is absolutely essential. And even more so because often I keep my boarding passes on my phone so that I don't have the papers and all of that stuff. So it's really important to have it. Then I got my wallet. I think you've seen this before in what's in my bag. It's kind of getting really full now, so I can't even close it. It's all the like random cards. Um, this is a Louis Vuitton Emily or Josephine. No, Louis Vuitton Josephine wallet. Uh, it's with the blue color, so it's the Louis Vuitton and the blue. And it has my name engraved that Louis Vuitton uh, press people did kindly for me at one of their press days. I keep all of my cards in here, all of the important stuff, some receipts. Um, I don't know, some some of my business cards. Ta-da! Look at them, how cute. Uh, I don't normally keep business cards in my wallet, but I only have like 20 of them here in case I forget them and I really need one. So, yeah. Mm. Some cash. I don't really normally carry cash and some important receipts that I need. So, of course, I need my wallet when traveling. And for the duty-free shopping, you guys know I'm addicted to duty-free. Then I've got this Dubrovnik Airport. Uh, what is this? Boarding pass. You know, the luggage tag. The luggage thingy pop. So it just says, I don't know, um, where I sat at 8F. Gate 3, boarding time and all of that. Uh, 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 I've got my sunglasses. These are Dior. Yeah, Dior. Um, I don't know which ones I had. Christian Dior Exclusive Edition, Dior Grand Ball KS. So, yeah, that's what they look like. And they have these like crystals on the side, um, which you can probably tell now. I really like them because I like the sunglasses that go like this. So it's important to have sunglasses because wherever you arrive, you don't know how sunny it's going to be. And sometimes even on the plane, it can be really bright. Uh, what else I've got? I've got some hair ties because I get annoyed if I'm carrying a lot of stuff and then my hair is kind of getting in my way, especially when it's like this natural beachy waves. Um, so yeah, this time I had two hair ties. These are the only ones that can keep my hair up because I have a lot of hair. It's really, really thick. So if I have those like really thin bands, they literally don't do anything for me. I have to have these thick, uh, thick, really kind of hard ones. I bet you were wondering what about beauty products. Well, I've got a few beauty products. As you know, I always carry this Chanel Chance um, perfume. Oh, I love it. It's a travel one. You know, you've seen it in like five videos so far. I just adore it because it's so small and it's perfect for traveling. Then L'Occitane uh, hand cream with almonds, which is the one that I actually showed you in my duty free haul. Uh, Chanel lip gloss, also from the duty free haul in 148 La Pêche. It's like beauty. Uh, pink, glossy, peachy uh, lip gloss. Love it. What else have I got? I've got this YSL Voluptuous Candy in color 1, which is like a tan um, 
this is like not a lipstick it's like really sheer kind of like a lip balmy version of a lipstick and i really like it because it's kind of nude but obviously a lip balmy version and it smells lovely mm, it's moisturizing and yes it's beautifully packed absolutely beautifully packed what else have I got? I've got some chewing gum. My favorite chewing gum is Airways uh, when it comes to the ones that you can buy in England. This is cherry menthol flavor. Then I've got my favorite lip balm, which is Creme de la Mer. Almost finished this one. I had it always with me on the holiday because it's really important to protect your lips. This one does not have an SPF, but I use this bedtime and in the morning and when I just wanted to moisturize my lips like on the plane. And I've got a Stella McCartney pouch that I got at one of the events and I don't always carry this with my with me but I keep euros in it so because I'm traveling a lot in Europe that's what I keep in here a lot of change I don't want to obviously lose it and like keep it in random bags so just keep all the euros all the change and stuff that I don't get a chance to spend I keep it in this and then when I'm traveling next I use this because obviously in England we use pounds, British pounds, so euros are kind of, there's no point really changing them into pounds and then changing them into euros again uh, once I'm going in like uh, two weeks or so. So I just keep uh, all the euros that I haven't spent in this and it's really useful because if like I often, very often forget to change money before I arrive to the country or withdraw and so on. So when I arrive there, I have some money always for taxi or for a drink or for whatever I need, which is perfect. What else? I've got a card reader. This is obviously because, you know, I've got a computer, I've got a card reader, I've got a camera and then I know I can blog. Um, if, you know, you bring camera and computer, you have no card reader, it's kind of like pointless. And again, the same kind of goes if you bring, you know, you need all three to be able to blog. And this is really easy to forget, uh, which is why I always keep it in my um, handbag. And that way I just check, did I bring the card reader? Yes, I did. Great. Got it. Well, this one's really useful. It was quite inexpensive and it's really useful because it reads all the cards. And I've got one key. <laughs> this is just the key to the house. I've got another bunch of keys, uh, but this is the one that I usually bring with me uh, when traveling because I know the other ones I wouldn't need. And also because um, it's small, so it's kind of like easy to fit in every size bag. It has a little cashmere jumper because I love cashmere. And so my key is comfy. Now I'm joking. I received this uh, cashmere little keychain when I um, when I got a cashmere jumper from me and my style. So yes, um, that's my key. And that's the last thing. What have I got in this front pocket? I don't think I've got anything in there. No, nothing in the front. At the back. Oh, I've got a receipt in here. I've got I've got a Pret receipt from uh, buying some diet coke when I was flying into Croatia. And I've got five, no, 20p. Mm. And that's it. My bag is now empty. So that is all, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to let me know what you can't travel without. Uh, if there's anything that you would suggest me also to bring with me or that you really like bringing when traveling or if there's anything else you would like to see a video on, make sure to leave a comment below. I will be filming loads this week. And yes, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!